Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kamga and I'm a Cameroonian currently living in the US. I love writing, telling stories and on this channel I do a lot of essays, reviews and reactions like this one. So if you like the kind of content that pens a little bit towards personal development and maybe like in this particular case making money and building the African continent then hit that subscribe button. However, if you don't feel, conf if you don't feel confident yet that this is a good idea for you, just hold on, watch the video and then decide to subscribe. Okay. So, this video is going to be a little bit different from the other videos that I've made. I was triggered positively to do a reaction to this video for a very simple reason. I did a reaction to Passport Heavy about Ghana. And that video blew my mind to the point where I was thinking, how can people make more money on the continent to keep growing the continent? How can we make money in Africa? What are some of the businesses that people who are on the continent can actually, you know, make and, and build and, and do things? Because I read a lot about entrepreneurship, about starting businesses online. And yeah, of course, you can still do a lot of business online from Cameroon, from Nigeria. Yeah, that's great. But what are some things that maybe people are not looking because it's not very digital and online and all that stuff? So... I did a search on YouTube and I came up with this particular video. This video is from somebody I've never watched. And so far, I think his beard is pretty chill. I like it. So it's from Connect You to Africa. He has 13.4 subscribers. And uh, right now, the title is 3000 Wait, is it $3,000 businesses? Business to start in Africa. Business opportunities in Africa. I don't... The title... Is one thing, bet, bet, bet. <laughs> he has what 20,000 views, 1,000.9, 16, 16 people thought it wasn't a good idea. So, I want to find out what those 16 people thought why it wasn't a good idea because it does seem from the comment section. I did, I watched a comment sometime before watching the video or after, but it does seem that people were talking about you know, they, they were identifying like, hey, this particular I didn't think about this, I didn't think about that. So, um, yeah, there's Facebook Africa group and all that good stuff. So that's not waste your time, right? Let's get into the video, see what we can learn if you're African. First of all, go to the comment section. Let me know which country you're watching from. I'd like to connect more with my African brothers and sisters. I have this urge that I've always had even back in Cameroon to share about creativity and do a lot more things. And the idea of being able to sustain yourself while you're building your business or while you're pursuing your creative goals, that means, you know, a, a huge lot to me. And so this is one of the first videos I'm doing that's do business. The other one I do as an entrepreneur, Tayo, I'm going to put all the links. You can you can watch all the links in some places there, but I don't want to waste your time. So let's jump right straight into it. So there are two types of myths associated with starting a business in Africa. And the first myth is you need a lot of cash or capital to actually start a business in Africa. He already caught my attention there. Like, yeah, nearly every single person... Even not just in, in Africa, like in other countries, in even the people, I mean, this is a medium group for medium writers and people, actually it's a personal development group. And one of the admins asked the question, you know, what is stopping you from pursuing your goals? And one was people, somebody will always say time and money. And when you come to the African continent, it's not just about time now, it's just money. No capital, no resources. Somebody will always complain about not having money. So he says it's a myth, which means that he has a solution to it. So let's hear him out. And the second myth is it will take you a decade for you to actually succeed in those businesses. Hmm. And because of this myth, a lot of people's potentials have become paralyzed and they never start a business they actually wanted to start in Africa. And because I do really care about you succeeding and thriving in Africa. I like I like his smile. He's so I like I just I like how he was smiling. It just it's nice. I decided to actually share five manufacturing businesses or business ideas that you can actually store in any African country for as low as three thousand dollars. Okay. So please okay, give first, yourself first, a pen right? and a first. Let's let's. How much is three thousand dollars? Before we jump into this, because three thousand dollars, one thousand dollars is about five hundred thousand francs CFA. So. $3,000 should be about 1.5 million France CFA. He says as low as $3,000. I'm like, how many people can afford 1.5 million? Most jobs pay on average, say, 50000 per month. If you live in a town like Douala, you probably pay at least 30000 for rent. So unless you're doing like those high-end jobs that pay, I mean, I got a job where I was earning 200000 
So if I had to say pay my rent for forty thousand per month and then cover grocery and everything, say I could use no, no, if I could use seventy thousand to stay alive per month, then I think that yes, it's possible for somebody like me with a kind of twenty thousand to save, you know, and get this money and start this business. But from the get go, I'm like, how many people can do this? But then that's the thing about the continent. You never you you don't know where to find the stats for the average salary for the African country. Maybe I just need to do a Google search, but I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to do it. The paper and write some information down. And now, even before we start discussing about these five manufacturing businesses or business ideas that you can actually start in any African country for as low as $30,000. That's like SEO. He has repeated that sentence at least three times. This guy is building his SEO really well. If this is your first time coming across this channel, kindly go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also before I hit the subscribe button, you have to give me the juice. I would not just hit this. My subscribe button is not free. So if you like the video, you can please subscribe to the channel. I really like it. Thank you. Don't forget to smash that like button. You don't pay a dime when you smash that like Actually, button. Actually, that's true. So just go ahead and smash that like button. You know what? Let's so, do it. Let's do it. First of all, why are we even talking about the manufacturing sector and not any other business sectors? Well, just for your information, Africa still imports almost 70% of the common household commodities used every single day. This is the thing about statistics and data. I like them. I'm not a fan of calculating them. I like I like it. I like to hear it. And I feel like it's one of those places where you should put like a screenshot of the sources for me to know that you're not just making this up, right? At least tell me where you take your facts from. Just tell me. I want to know. And because of this, the manufacturing sector or the local manufacturing sector in all the African countries needs a lot of attention. And I decided to really focus on these sectors you know, because I believe that's where the demand is and that's where I believe if you invest in or if you put your money into, you basically rip some good profit and also see a potential growth in your business. So the first business idea or oh no. the first manufacturing business that you can basically start in any African country with as low as $30,000 is the manufacturing of electrical equipment or products. So I realize a lot of people change their electrical bulbs, sockets, huh. and extensions multiple times during the year in many African countries. And this is due to the fact that there is... Wait a minute. I would never have thought about this, and I'm still thinking about how feasible it is. Let me. I would like to hear his explanation to see, like, how possible is this for somebody to start? 1.5 million. How will you start producing these bulbs and outlets? Electrical power fluctuations across many African countries. So, with millions of households changing their electrical product multiple times during the year starting a manufacturing business in the electrical industry or manufacturing of electrical equipment and you basically meeting the local demands will be a very small idea and you will also create a lot of employment opportunities for the local people so starting electrical manufacturing business will not only serve or meet the demands of the local people but also it will help the local vendors who travel all the way to China and Europe to import these electrical products. So this is a small idea that I think you can basically start with few cash and you can get it running and going. Now the second... I'm not convinced. It seems to me that 1.5 million, and I'm saying this 1.5 million francs CFA, just like it's a nice idea but the feasibility and the way he just glossed over it i'm like i don't know i really need to talk to, i personally need to talk to someone who has you know either done this or knows how it works because it feels to me like it will require more money than that just saying second manufacturing business you can also start in any african country is paper and notebook production huh. trust me african countries haven't gone fully digital yet and because of this 
there are countless businesses and schools who still uses paperwork in their daily activities. I can firmly say the demand is higher than the production right now because there are only few manufacturing. Show me the numbers. Show me. Show me the numbers. I hear you, brother. And I feel like you was, what you're saying is true. And probably somebody has taken these ideas and jumped with the money succeeding and is just sitting quietly enjoying their money. I just want to see the numbers. Like you said, there are few. How many of them are there? And, you know, if they are, if they are that few, then you should be able to find them out, right? At least this is 2021, I guess. But the video was done in 2020. It's not that far away. So I'm just thinking, show me the numbers. Companies across the African continent that basically manufacture paper and notebooks. So you can still, you know, basically start your own paper and notebook manufacturing company and still thrive and succeed. Now, if you are still enjoying this video or you are finding this information very like valuable smile. and you still haven't hit that subscribe button, just go ahead and do it. Now, the next manufacturing business business that you can start in any African country with as low as $3,000, which is the third business idea on our list is the manufacturing of soap and detergent. Now, this now I remember, think is a good idea. people bath and shower or wash every single day. Yep. Therefore, you can tap into this reoccurring market and provide effective soaps and detergent at a cheaper cost than your competitors. A soap or a detergent normally lasts a few days. Therefore, they will always a few days. Like how how do you how many how how many, how often? Jesus, I can't even ask a question. Like how many times do you shower a day that will last only a few days? Like, yo, what? Unless it's like, you know, because in Cameroon we used to have we have I think I guess it's the same thing here. I just haven't seen it washing soap and actually call it bathing soap from boarding school days where you have soap that is used only for showers and you have soap that is used for you know washing clothes and washing the floor and all that stuff so a few days bro must be a constant demand and i think this is a great investment with a huge profit if you take it serious now before i share the last two manufacturing business ideas that you can definitely invest in in any African country, I want you to comment below and let me know which of the previous three manufacturing business ideas that we just talked about do you think it's more profitable and which one are you likely to invest in? So just so, comment below and let me know whether it's the first business idea or the second one or the third one. So just comment below and let me know which one do you think is more profitable and also which one are you likely to in this video? invest in. The next manufacturing business idea that you can start or invest in any African country is the production of packaging boxes. Hmm. Honestly, I want you to trust me on this. There are a lot of businesses in Africa that has begun offering delivery services. Therefore, the demand for packaging has really increased. So you, you know, I hear you, you say I should trust you on this. However, you're talking about data and numbers and companies and things that people can be able to find, right? I still think that for me, the biggest thing that I feel was missing from this particular video was the idea of being able to put the sources to back up your argument because is it feels like an opinion and it could be true, but because there's no sources and, you know, it, it's hard to believe that what he's saying is actually the right thing. Eh, it's just me. I'm just, I'm just skeptical. You can just start your own packaging manufacturing company and basically provide packages to these businesses for their deliveries. And trust and behold, brother and sister, <laughs> you make tons of profit. So the last business idea I'll suggest for you when it comes to investing or starting a business in Africa is the exportation of local products and goods. In fact, million? there are many different African local household products and goods that I think will be very essential 
to other countries. Like so what? you can study the market in other foreign countries and all what you have to do is basically scout for local product in that African country and just connect that product to, you know, the consumers in that foreign country. Logistics, storage, transportation, customs, um, licenses, transportation within the country. So, uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about uh, like 1.5 million. Well, he did say it's to start. It's not like to run the whole business. And hopefully as the profit increases, you're able to reinvest in the business. So I guess I'm, let me not try to be too hard on the 1.5 million thing. But I'm just thinking about how, uh, yeah. Hey, if it works, it works. And I believe this is a lucrative business where you can make a lot of profit and it doesn't require a lot of money to start. You can start the exportation of local products from any African country with as low as a thousand dollars. So I want you to comment below and let me know which of these businesses or which of these manufacturing I thought my screen froze. business ideas are you likely to invest well. in and also i want to use this platform and say thank you guys for watching especially all those who keep subscribing and hitting the like button and also it's frozen all my patreon supporters and everyone sharing this information it's frozen mention on this platform hey brother your video is frozen i don't think there's anything else for me to react to it because it's frozen let me say this he seems like a really chill guy. This is an older video, so I don't know if there are younger videos here. Oh yeah, I'm just supposed to show you the comments, the comment section in this um, video. So I've been making what? This is a Shaza. I guess it's Shaza. I've been making soap for 20 years and had already decided I will continue doing so in Africa. Thanks for confirming I'm on the right path. Nice. It was five months ago. Honestly, Daniel, you have the most helpful channel for all the aspirants trying to move to africa black city is very good as well but your videos are always a very, a very polite length of time to the point and extremely informative i watch your channel more than any other thank you so very much very very much for all your help we appreciate you nice that's really nice i was an electronics technician in the navy so electrical equipment manufacturing sounds promising to me i want i want what what are you saying I was thinking the third idea is very good, but I was thinking further than soap and detergent. Once I moved to Ghana, I was thinking of starting to for our laundromat like we have here in the States. Oh, let me see what he said. Yes, it's a good idea for the rich neighborhoods. <laughs> uh, yeah, laundromats crossed my mind a while back. All that was wanted to see for that. And uh, I'm a teacher and the need for school supplies is essential to learning. I like the paper production idea. Yeah, this is nice. Very nice. Five and three sound like good idea. Like three, me too, I thought about three and five. Like, yeah. The others are too good, but I'm concerned about the trees. I was sacrificing the process. Yeah. Paper production. You got trees. You got to kill the trees to make it happen. So, hey, listen. This video, if it doesn't spark an idea in you, then you probably don't have what it takes. <laughs> but seriously, basically what I'm trying to say is that I think it's a pretty decent video. The ideas are pretty, pretty not innovative or anything, but they 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 go to the core of the kind of needs that we have on the African continent. So I do respect the work that he's doing, sharing this. Let me check out the other videos if there are other titles that are similar to this. Here, can we become a member by clicking this link? Oh yeah. So what what is it? Let's see. So yeah, connect you to Africa as a channel. Everything worth knowing about Africa. His name is Daniel. It's pretty chill. He has his hat all the time. How got me a trip Ghanaian in Ghana town? Whoa, it's 47 views. African countries you should not move to. 50,000 views. <laughs> oh, sorry, 47,000 views for the first one. African Americans versus Africans. What? 37,000 views. Okay. Past live streams. How can African Americans? So his audience is really African Americans or Africans who are in the diaspora trying to return to the continent. That's what his content seems to be like. So yeah, it's it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I mean, I've been coming across this kind of content a lot now because of you know, I'm sure you've seen the reactions that I do. But yeah, the ideas are pretty interesting. I think the soap the soap production is probably my number one. Um, the amount I would love to see the logistics, the numbers to see what, what would actually look like. I actually have like a business plan, and I feel like 
with doing this, he can actually become a consultant for people who want to go back and start business. He can help them set up their businesses, you know, what to be worry, worry about, like creating a channel like this where he's giving his information. People will come to him as a source. I feel like that's an amazing thing that he's done. So, hey, brother, more power to you. I wish you the best. I mean, Daniel, I wish you the best on your channel if you're watching this, which probably you're not. Let me know in the comment section if you are. That would be pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I'm I, I think what you're doing is great. I think um, many people are going to benefit from this and many more people, you know, should watch the channel and see the other content I have because there's like a lot. Went to buy land in Africa. Wow, it reminds me of Investio Camarena Camarian. Might do a, a reaction video to that. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked the video and you want to see more about Daniel's channel, I'm going to put a link in there. I'm also going to put the, his subscribe button somewhere on the screen here towards the on, in my end screens. And... Uh, Go to the comment section and let me know which of these ideas do you think were good. Do you have a better idea for somebody? You know, businesses that can start for less than 1.5 million, or maybe you think that it's not possible to raise that money. So, what kind of businesses do you think you can start in Africa for I don't know, less than one thousand dollars, which is like five hundred thousand? Let me know. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, let me know in the comment section why you haven't, because that'd be nice to know. Like, hey, I don't like your head, I don't like your hands, I don't like your face, or I don't like your merch which you can get in the comments in the description <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your time we're getting really close to uh, 1400 subs and i really appreciate that growing this channel i'm looking forward to getting 100,000 subs but before that every single sub counts and i am very grateful to have you so thank you so much for watching and i will definitely see you in the next one in the meantime stay cool stay creative and fight for your freedom